We understand growing together, working together, building together. So if she's better at something that I need some help with, I'm going to her. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know what? I don't, she better at this. Let me try to hurt him and do this and mm-hmm. get better or whatever, stuff like that. Or mm-hmm. or I will sit there and say, I'm not going to no. show that I'm not good enough in it because it'll make me look incompetent. Assalamu alaikum, peace, it's Coach Nyla. And Coach Fatima. And we are co-wives, co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-authors of the book, Let's Let's Talk Talk Polygyny Uncensored. (laughs) Period. (laughs) In this video, guys, we've gotten this question and we know the answer, so we're gonna answer it here. So if you watch the, the whole entirety of this video, you will find out who has the better marriage between the two of us, as we are married to the same man, Coach Nadir. You, you got the better marriage? I had the better marriage. You got the, you got, you got the better marriage. So, yes, because it's, it becomes a competition. We mm-hmm. see a lot of competition when it comes to wives and polygyny. Mm-hmm. Right. A lot of competition. Um, This marriage should be this way, or my marriage is better, or I was first, or I came second, and I'm the new thing, and those type of things. Mm -hmm. And it creates actually more headache than than bliss. So if you're bringing that stuff to the table, it's not showing you being better in anything except for being a better headache. Right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> who who's the best pain in the behind right. is what it turns into. And it's funny because you don't see this happen until you speak about polygyny. Mm-hmm. That's when you'll see people go, oh, who's the better wife? Who's the better cook? Who's the better this? Who's mm-hmm. the better that? When you find out that the wives are sharing the husband, right. you know, like everything is shared. And I find that that's a label that others put on us and we don't put it on ourselves. So true. Like I've I've never, I don't think I've ever experienced that where I didn't say to myself, look, this is separate yeah. <laughs> from what we have or had or whatever the case may be or the history or whatever the, the, the um, beginning of the marriage was, it's so different. So to compare it is, it's really mentally violent. Oh yeah. And oftentimes we do it to ourselves. Exactly. We'll do it to ourselves and then some other person will come do it, and then you look up and you got good old fashioned insecurities about your marriage. I'll give you an example. Oftentimes we'll hear the, oh, the man, he doesn't love me anymore because he married again. Mm-hmm. And I've had actual clients say, well, I don't feel like my husband loves me. And I said, did he tell you that? Yeah. And they'll go, That's no. It. Exactly. I said, don't think he can just dump everything out of his heart in one, one day and then replace the love he has for you with this new love or this new toy. And that's another thing that's really, really disrespectful mm-hmm. is saying, okay, this is the old toy, like like your husband's a dog, and here's the new toy that he gets to play with all the time. It's incredibly disrespectful mm-hmm. for um, women in polygyny to, to hear these things, yeah. get judged in this way, True. especially subsequent wives, because then that goes, okay, she's just a body. Yeah, she's just a body. She's she just has a body, no, no feelings, brains. no brains, no anything. She's only here for for the enjoyment of whoever, the enjoyment of whoever. the husband, okay. mm. the enjoyment of, you know, meaning that when I say the enjoyment of the other wife, I'm saying that she has to be pleased with everything that she does in order for her to even fit in this whole scenario. So she doesn't have her own individual marriage. She can't. She can't have her own individual marriage because right. you're here to make sure that whatever needs to be done is done. You have to be, you have to make sure that I am not unhappy with your presence. Um, I have, you have to make sure that our husband is not unhappy with your presence. And even if he's happy with your presence, if I'm not happy with your presence, you need to make, so it's those different yeah. things. And just like my co-wife said, it's violent. It is. And people create that because people who are very emotionally mature in polygyny, which I would like to say that we are, 
that we have our stuff and we've had our stuff, but we learn and we grow. And the reason why I say we even have our stuff is because you start to find out later on, you still have some childhood traumas that you might Mm -hmm. have to, to revisit or fix or reparent yourself or certain type of things like that. So we've learned that over even the past few years that a lot of the things that we can bring into our marriages may not even have to do with our husband's period. It'd be something that we had to deal with or that we dealt with Mm -hmm. back when we were growing up or we experienced, not that we experienced ourselves but that we may have seen you know we may have seen our mothers or grandmothers or aunties or whatever the case may be deal with and we took on that type of Mm -hmm. stuff too Mm -hmm. and then we start to say well who's better then we started comparing and competing and things like that because all throughout our lives that's what we were doing competing Mm -hmm. for affection competing for attention competing for you know who did the better this who's the best kid who's the best sibling who's you know those type of things Who's the best child in the classroom? These type of things. And then that's a consistent thing of competition. So then you go into polygyny, which is just another form of marriage. Mm -hmm. Expansion Mm -hmm. in the husband's part, in the the husband's eyes. And I'm saying, we have to give this disclaimer. (laughs) We have to give this disclaimer. We are talking about healthy marriages, not abusive manipulating narcissistic Narcissistic. (laughs) we're not talking about that we have to give this this claim because we've seen it so many times in the comments Mm -hmm. we will be talking about regular marriages we'll be talking about emotionally mature emotionally stable marriages that are trying to grow Mm -hmm. and we'll get the comments and say well all is not always like that or what about the ones that do this we know that we know that we're talking about Though we have different videos for that, so definitely go check them out. out. This one right here is saying this is what this should look like. This is what it is. And a lot of times it is us Mm -hmm. that are creating these boundaries, or not even boundaries, these walls. I would say these walls between ourselves as co-wives, ourselves as family members. Uh, You know, because it's like, well, she was here longer. So yeah, history. where do I fit in? Mm-hmm. Or I'm the new shiny thing because she she's the <laughs> old, old thing. thing. Old so does that. So you got all these different ideas in your head, but where does it come from? Mm-hmm. See, when we're intentional and saying, why are these things coming in my head? Did I come into this to be a destructive? Did mm-hmm. I come in here to try to compete with someone else? If you're focusing on minding your marriage, like we discussed and we train on and we talk about so many times. If you're focused on that, you're not trying to compete with your co-wife. You're not. You're not. You're not. That's true. You're sitting here saying that I need to make my marriage best for me mm-hmm. because she's going to make what's her marriage best for her. Mm-hmm. And it may not look the same. Most likely it won't look the same because your personalities are different. Yeah. He didn't go marry somebody no. else just to marry a second, a, num- second a number you, two you. you. Right. <laughs> so and I know people say, oh, y'all look alike or y'all do these things alike or da 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 or I can't believe you guys dress alike. We don't dress alike we for don't. one. Just go do we that, don't. put that up in there. We just happen to like to be, we like pretty stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we like pretty stuff. We like colors. Yeah. My co-wife like way more colors than I yeah. do because it looks way better on her <laughs> than do on me. I like more saturated colors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more and like... More- my pastel uh, a outfit three today. tops color type person. <laughs> <laughs> but my thing is, we know what looks good on us. It, it just happened to, I say look similar because people say that, but I see a lot of differences in what we do. Yeah. But people want to put certain things, like you said, oh, people yeah. want to put um, these different types of um, challenges in our way that we've mm-hmm. never done. We haven't done that. that we've for real. never done. And it's easier to do when you see people in front of you. You know, of course, you know, we are on a public platform. We understand that. We get it. <laughs> we get it. But when it comes down to it, that doesn't mean that we don't have our say. That don't mean that we're robots. That don't mean that we're going to take a lot of the abuse or <laughs> the comparisons <laughs> that we right. don't do to each other. So right. that's why we're like, when you're talking about who's better at this, who's better at that, I'm going to tell you, my co-wife is better at a whole lot of things. Uh, so, Coach Nyla, I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, I said, 
help me. And when, <laughs> and when it comes down to it, we work together on those yeah, things because we, we understand growth mindset. Yeah. We, we understand sure. growing together, working yeah. together, building together. So if she's better at something that I need some help with, I'm going to her. I'm not going to say and be like, you know what? I don't she better at this. Let me try to hurt him and do this and get better or whatever, stuff like that. Or mm-hmm. or I will sit there and say, I'm not no. going to show that I'm not good enough in it because it'll make me look incompetent. Mm-hmm. What type? You no, know, see, that's limited. You're limiting right. yourself. You're limiting your family. You're limiting just your overall growth by doing stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So being, so comparing and competing. I'll cut that out. Doing that stuff. It's the thief of joy. It is. So when you're wondering why you're depressed, when you're wondering why you're upset, and I know there are going to be people like, well, you know what, Coach Nyla, you always think everything is sunshine, rainbows, and kittens and unicorns, and you already know (laughs) I said that that's not what it is. But I do believe that we have our own, we have our own hand in whether it's going to look bad for us or it's going to look good for us. That's so true. I'm not, so, mm-hmm. just so y'all know, I'm not here so that Coach Nyla can't be heard. And I think a lot of people put that on subsequent wives and say, oh, she's here so that she, she can't be heard or whatever the case may be. And my co-wife can't make my marriage better or worse. And I can't make hers better or worse. That is so under worse. the control of the people that are in the monogamous relationship. That's period. It. So when we put those labels out there, so when you say who's the better wife or who's the, got the better marriage, it's whatever you make it. Mm-hmm. And not want another person outside of that can affect it. I don't care what anybody says, they can't. Because if the man is in the middle, he's the true leader and he's gonna set the tone for how everything goes. So he can't let what someone else says about either wife, even if it's his wives, mm-hmm. sway his judgment. So and if he's doing that, it's the, the, the marriage will fail if, if something is not done. So we're talking about best practices for longevity of a relationship. And we can't destroy the marriages of each other. Mm-hmm. We can't. So the better marriage is the one that is worked on by the people that are in the marriage. That's the, that's the that's better it. marriage. And that we don't is. keep score. That's so it. when people pose that question to us, it's whatever you make it. So in a monogamy, it's what you make it. In polygyny, it's what you make it. Period. Yes, there's no magic potion. There's no spells. There's no sorcery. You have to you have to match your efforts and match your message. And if you're not doing that, then you're going to have trouble. You're going to have a lot of trouble. So we just had to say that, especially in this video, because we've been compared and contrasted to death. <laughs> and we're so used to it. But just know that your marriage is what you make it, not what somebody else makes it. Right. And we train on that in our polygyny masterclass and our yeah. women's polygamy masterclass yeah. on how to communicate with your co-wife, how to bond with your mm-hmm. co-wife, how to mind your marriage and make it the best marriage that you can have for what your situation looks like. Not comparing your marriages, mm-hmm. but minding yours and mining yours for best results, mm-hmm. for fulfillment and things as far as that. Because with you guys being here and watching this and being proactive in your marital bliss, yeah. that says a lot about you. That is the thing that we love doing this because we yeah. see that. We see that. But we want to let you know that we are here for those who are looking to improve, those who are looking to be better, those who are, who are looking for fulfillment and are not trying to compare and compete, right? but to grow and grow to fulfillment. So if you have not registered for the Polygamy Masterclass, you make sure you do that because we go deep and train deep on this information. Mm-hmm. And you will see that at polygamymasterclass.com, but we also have the link in the description. So yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys got some gems from this video. We definitely dropped them. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys are following us on our social media. So on Facebook and YouTube, where of course outstanding personal relationships and on IG where outstanding relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, and also And don't forget to follow us on TikTok. Yes, we are on TikTok at Outstanding Relationships. So yes. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. But before we go, we would like you to leave in the comments. Don't compare. 
There we go. Don't compare. And um, until the next one, make sure you are growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level. Every, every single, single day. day. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> So I'm like a piece. I'm Coach Nadir. And I'm his wife, Coach Fatsman. And I'm Coach Nyla. I am also his wife. We are the founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as authors of the new book, Let's, Let's Talk, Talk Polygamy Uncensored. Uncensored. We created a polygamy masterclass. And it doesn't matter your faith or your background, your culture, specifically for men and one specifically for women, because we did not have the resources over the past dozen years. So if you ever had concerns or issues, or challenges or questions about situations like insecurity, jealousy, and sometimes anger, and not knowing what your role is anymore in your own family. I'm feeling guilty of, you know, I'm hurting or feeling like you're hurting someone or you're breaking up a family or feeling like a home wrecker because society doesn't agree with the marriage choice that you decided. Right, or, or trying to determine if your leadership is really up to par. And if you have the proper emotional aptitude to deal with the new dynamics that polygamy may bring. You know, how is my family gonna react? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Do I notify my first wife first? Do I do it later? You know, do I keep stuff secret? All kinds of different things, as well as can love even be equal? Exactly. You know, when it comes to how to uh, manage money and time effectively so that you're being fair and just mm -hmm. with your wife. So all of these things are extremely important when it comes to learning about polygamy mm -hmm. and knowing how to what's called do it right. <laughs> right. right. So if you want the best practices and learn from those who have already been there and done that and working with it and literally helped over I mean, thousands and thousands of people, then you make sure to click the button to get the full details of each course or the bundle button below to join the first of its kind polygamy masterclass. So you can go intentionally, love fearlessly, and connect on a higher level. Every single day. Look forward to see you as students. Slow <laughs> so like Peace. Peace. <laughs>